Hello and welcome to installment number two of Worm's achievements and debauchery. Um, I hope you liked the first episode or, you know, capturing of my worming adventure through space and time and change. This is episode number two. I, it looks like I'm faced with three choices here. There's around the right hand side, looks snowy around there. There's some glacial diamond like river around this right hand side here or left. You know, depends which way you're looking at it. Or I can go through the middle through these two uh, prehistoric hut exhibits I'm just gonna go I think this might be the most interesting so let's go here this museum diorama puts me in mind of the ice demon terrorizing the Inuits in Greenland these three things have been trapped in an ancient glass statue for centuries which I thought would distract from the value so I set it free when I stole it <laughs> apparently the terrified Inuits still sing songs about me bless them oh look I'm, I'm getting a, with a vital piece of the map in it a vibe from this it. woman I Generally in games you work for the good guys and you know you, there's always a bad guy and you go and get him and you, you adventure on through mystical landscape to um, better yourself okay, as a, a as a character and you. develop your, man here has to get your to this trade personality here. and skills but this woman's acting like a real car, bitch. She keeps telling me historic Keep tales of, of not me. heroism, but but nihilistic <laughs> fascism, and uh, I'm not quite sure I support that cause. But nevertheless, I'm not faced with a choice. I'm faced Hello. with with a task, and that is to kill the blue ones as a red one uh, as is throughout game history red versus blue up oh, the ultimate um, opposites that is that is my place here in worm world up oh. um, just for a purely referential point of view I am recording this immediately after the last one. I haven't improved in any way, as far as I, I know. Um, those two grenades there. Up oh, on that one. I think the landscape is sort of molded to aid your conquest um, in these early levels. Oh, oh shit! And just as I say aid your conquest in the early levels my fat bastarding worm can't hop far enough so he sinks to his titanic like demise what a fucking idiot alright take two I've actually made it this time I made the leap of faith uh, upon a platform. Oh no. Let's hope he hasn't got any of the, the usual baseball bat. Okay. Oh, you fucking fuck! Christ! Okay. This is take three, and this is the one where we're gonna do it. We're gonna, I've, I'm gonna just dynamite this guy. I'm not gonna piss around. Okay, I have to jump off here, activate the parachute, slide over, and gently touch down onto the platform of, of my previous demise. I'm not gonna fuck around. I'm just gonna put that there, you. 
Right. <clears throat> there you go, can't go wrong with that. Okay, so, um, as I was saying, before... Oh! Jesus Christ. As I was saying before, my momentous blunder. Um, I don't know what I was saying. I don't know why I started a sentence that way. It's really, really just not going, not going well. <laughs> um, you know, this is Worms, and this is me. There is an achievement to get 300 health on a single worm. I have like 250 now. I wonder if this might be a good place to... Oh. This might be a good place to get it. I'm not sure if there's any more health packs around. Um, as far as achievements go on this, I did have a look. I had a look before I even started the... Um, before I started the series this time, which if, if anyone, I know it wasn't many, watched my other channel, my channel before this, I did um, just stumble blindly into a task and, and hope I picked up achievements on the way. I played Dante's Inferno on like the medium difficulty, thinking I'd knock, you know, a couple of um, achievements, like, um, story mission achievements, you know, to complete the game on hard and complete the game on normal and easy. I started it on hard and realized at the very end of the game, when I didn't get three achievements, that there is in fact only one achievement, and that is for completing the game. Ooh, that was a blunder. Oh, <laughs> two blunders. That cancels mine out. Looks like I've got a text. I'm going to put that on silent. As you're supposed to, as a presenter, Dale Winton wouldn't have his phone on silent. I, th I, don't, I think Davina McCall would have her phone on. Um, i got nothing against Davina McCall, personally. She's just a bit shit. Well, well, well. There's more to this museum than an overpriced gift shop. How much for a frisbee and a notebook with my name on it? On your bike, buster. Head for the doorway. Then so this looks like a pretty big story mission. Inside. I'm going to try and... It's exciting, isn't it? The game's afoot. I'm going to try and keep it interesting. I don't really... I'm not... I think... You know, my voice isn't this monotonous. It sounds monotonous on... Where am I going? On things like... Oh, Christ. Ah, okay. Sounds monotonous on this. I don't understand why. Whether that's just, like, nerves of being voice recorded, or the fact that I'm going to be judged by people who watch videos. Probably that. Probably the latter. Um... I don't know, but I'm just trying to maintain, oh Christ, a sort of relatable character. It's not a character, it's just me. I mean, I'm not putting anything on. Um, it's just weird. Anyone who's ever done a video will know that it is weird that you, you have to become, you have to develop the ability to fill inevitable silence. And um, that's that's w w that's weird. It's just a weird feeling. And and things like this, where the enemy worm stands around for like five or ten minutes, it doesn't help. You want him to do something, and it's something like, oh Jesus Christ, I'm getting battered. Do you know it's lucky I started off with all the health I did, because I'd be fucked if I didn't. I'm worried about the next couple of uh, levels. Is, like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a very good gamer. <laughs> uh, 
Um, tell you what, while we're going through this, um, turn by turn, tate to tate uh, scenario, I'll, I'm just going to tell you that I have got ideas for the future. I'm not just, you know, flogging my horse into an empty void. I have got ideas and, and criteria, I suppose, I want to um, achieve. I think that was a bad move. I'm in a bit of a grenade hole. And one of those things is to um, not so much um, milestones on the internet, but milestones with my gaming. And um, You know, it is something. It is um, personal development and all that rubbish, isn't it? Being on available, making myself available to be judged and things. It's quite a... I, I respect anyone who can do it with any level of... <sighs> well, uh, what, I can't think of the word I'm looking for here. I mean, if you're good at it, I respect you. That's what I'm trying to say. Because it is hard. It's, um... Oh, thank So, a couple of ideas I've got for future videos and things. Um, I'm just going to be traipsing through different games, picking up. I'm not going to do like 20 Worms videos in a row, I hope, you know. I'll make playlists and things, so if people want to see my progress through Worms, they can do it in an easy, uh, easily locatable and, and navigating, navigational I think maybe that'll work way. Um, um, but I'm, I'm also, I've got Dead Space and things upstairs. I haven't started that game. I think maybe it'll be interesting to see me go from start to finish with that. Um, I've got a few games. I want to I wanna, um, try and bring things around to Patrick, my friend who has got more gamer score than me. I mentioned him in the last video. And he holds that over me. So what I'm going to do is go back to some old games and boost my gamer score above his so he's got nothing nothing to hold against me. And I don't know. I thought it was a good premise for a video. I should have probably skipped go here. Whatever. It's more time to talk, right? Um, and uh, one of those games we do and we've always competed on is Bioshock uh, so I'm going to be going back to a couple of the Bioshock games I've got um, I think I've got 100% in the first Bioshock and besides the multiplayer achievements in the number two I've got um, the majority of that too I need to play Infinite because he's got about a thousand gamer score on that and I haven't, I really haven't. I mean, I've got about 90. Um, the only way I know how to move things on this game is by blowing the shit out of it. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe if I... Hmm. Uh, is that slowly moving it around? Yeah, that's working, isn't it? Ayo. Excellent, wonderful, and fab. Liking your style. I started in this strip sweeping business when I was about your age. First coup I rolled was only around the corner. Loot Caesars, Grand Senior. They've got those earrings. Okay, onward we go. So I mean that was that was a nice video. You got to see a few sides of me. A few genuine mistakes. Got a bit angry at myself at one point. You know, that's interesting. That's character development. 
but it's not character. It's it's human development. I think anyone would be angry at being blown up like that. I don't know if I'm gonna. I might leave it here. This is video number two. I'll release another one after this. Um, to see my stats. I hope you enjoyed my narcissistic nonsense and my rambling maybe calmed your um, your nerves and your overactive 21st century brains because I know you're all worried about work and school and all that bullshit that comes with being alive nowadays and just put that out of your mind and watch me do really shit at, at games like this. Thank you very much for watching this video. I am Simon. Feel free to call me that way. This is my channel. We all cry wine. Because we all do. Because we're all lovers of alcohol. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you will continue to enjoy the installments I put in. I love you.